Well, a little more than two decades ago, a first-generation Indian entrepreneur, then in his 20s, dared to dream big. That too on the fast-growing telecom infrastructure space. Well, now the dream is a reality. GTL picking up Aircel's towers and in one go becoming the largest independent telecom tower company, not just in India or in Asia, but in the whole world. And to talk about this particular transaction and what lies ahead for GTL, we have the man of the moment, Manoj Thirodka, founder chairman of the global group of which GTL is a part of. Manoj, thank you very much for talking to NDTV. A relieved man, what's going on in your mind? Happy, it's been quite some time that this deal has been brewing. Today, it's been signed, sealed and delivered. Well, uh, you know, we have been committed towards growing our uh, telecom towers business for quite some time. Uh, the team has worked extremely hard, both on our side as well as ASL, to make this happen. Mm. Uh, this is transformational because it is a leap of faith for ASL to use uh, one single independent service provider like ourselves. It's big for us because not only is it the largest all-cash business purchase in India, mm. but more importantly, it brings scale, uh, which is probably truly global. Mm. Uh, so at this moment, uh, I think the team and us are thinking on how exactly we'll go about executing this mm. uh, to make sure that our customers, uh, not just ASL, but 10 other telecom operators uh, could benefit from reduction in sharing mm. by using this infrastructure, uh, by reducing the ONM costs, as well as focusing on reduction in the energy management costs. So at this moment, we are all pretty committed to making sure that over the next three or four months, uh, the execution is absolutely swift. Mm. But you've acquired companies before, but this is a game changer of sorts for GTL, certainly. What made you go for this skill in the first place? Well, uh, you know, uh, very clearly in the game of infrastructure, you need national presence. Mm. Uh, you need a larger footprint, uh, you need customers that are deep pocketed, uh, and you need to ensure that uh, you have relationship Mm. Uh, that can permit you uh, to really dream that big. Uh, so when we looked at this transaction and the parentage of ASL in Maxis Communication, the footprint that they have built, uh, the growth appetite that they have, and the fact that they are a telecom operator, not just in India, but in Indonesia, uh, Malaysia, as well as Sri Lanka, uh, and the fact that they were willing to recognize that we wanted to be neutral and independent, that we could truly make a difference to their operation and maintenance and energy costs, that we were not in it just to quickly make some bucks on the back of acquiring these towers, but mm -hmm. for the true or long term, uh, I think it forms a perfect partnership. Was that the reason why it actually, uh, you know, the deal got done? Because you are truly neutral and independent. You're not part of a telecom service provider. Was that the clincher or was that the aggressive financial bid that did it for you? I think there's a combination of several factors here. Uh, fact remains that because we are somebody who's in the sharing business, our financial bid was aggressive, but not overtly aggressive. Mm -hmm. It's still one of the lowest costs in that sense. Secondly, uh, yes, we are neutral and independent, and that, I guess, matters a lot to a growing operator. Mm -hmm.